We just spotted the roller coaster from the advertisement sign. Cause the fog's taking in. It's like Silent Hill. We just spotted the roller coaster from the advertisement sign. Oh my god. on my phone too much. The sleep was just okay, but it was super clean and I had a good time. Right now, I'm about to catch the bull train. For the first time ever in Japan, in my history of coming to Japan, I'm heading up to the north. I'm going to Hokkaido. I built a pretty decent abandoned map up there, and I want to see some traditional things. Only problem is I have absolutely no car, and it's always recommended to have a car going up north. This could be a very bad idea, or it can be a really cool video and it can be a cool idea. I think it's gonna be about five days up north and we're starting now. I'm catching the bullet train in 50 minutes. So what's crazy is that these bullet trains can go up to 200 miles an hour, which is over 300 kilometers. And it can get you anywhere around Japan. But the only downside about this is some of them can cost so much money, even more than plane tickets. On to a good start. We almost actually missed this by three minutes. Thing is, it was supposed to say platform 21, which it did, but then it changed to platform 23. So when I showed them my ticket, I'm like, hey, I'm here, but I don't see it. They said, oh, I changed the platform form 23, but I didn't know, but we still made it here. We're still going to the north, and we're gonna hit up some of the most unseen abandoned places ever. It's, it's Japan, and no one has ever made YouTube videos on this place. No one has known anything about this. This is completely no man's land to us where we're going. Yo, guys, this is funny. So our bags are so heavy. I mean, this thing is huge, and you have to keep that there forever. It must be like over like 150 pounds. Um, I, know, I know it was six kilos over on the plane. So I think it was about, no, I think it was about 50 kilos. Right. So this is what happened. So I was able to get my bag up there. <laughs> But it is massive, and I was like, dude, if that bag falls on someone or us, we're gonna break our neck. It's gonna fall on the But if his bag fell on someone, we didn't. It would it would kill them. But they were like, well, let's just take the bag and put it over there on this side. But if we did that, then if it fell on someone, we're gonna kill Japanese people on accident. So we don't want to give them that risk. So we're just gonna hold the bag. So here we are right now in Tokyo. We are going all the way up here, all the way past here, across the water to get here. Sapporo. So the bullet train so far is like really cool. It's, it's pretty quiet. Everyone's allowed to eat on this one, kind of hang out. It goes 200 miles an hour and it's so smooth. You don't even feel like you're going that fast. But I'll see you in eight hours because it takes eight hours from Tokyo to get all the way to the north. See you then. So we have a serious announcement, all right? The last two days, you haven't seen nothing. You just seen the clip saying we're, we're, this is nothing like uh, Tokyo, and that was it. Two days has passed since then. And I'm gonna try to sum this up quick because we're about to explore finally after two days. We're in Sapporo, and we got here uh, two days ago, and we're like, okay, let's go see how far the abandoned places actually are. We Google GPS our maps, and one of them said 13 hours because we have to walk. So we kind of knew this was going to happen, but we were, we were hoping not for the, we were just hoping it wasn't true. And one of the places in Sapporo itself, again, one hour plus walking, we're like, oh, we're in trouble. We need a car. And sure enough, we check on our friends list and someone DM'd us, a fan that was like really, that seems really cool. We thought, we're like, oh, well, well he has a car too. Maybe he wants to come up and he'll be the savior of us all. Sure enough. Dude, that guy was 20 hours south. He drove 20 hours up within the same day. So he hasn't slept. So then he slept and then today is the day. And yo, by the grace of God, a guy named Harmon 
underscore vlogs, we're about to meet right now, we only seen him for an hour yesterday, is going to be showing us around Hokkaido, as well as exploring for himself. Out of nowhere, it just worked out, we were saved. <laughs> so let's go meet this guy. I don't know how we do this, bro. I don't know how we do it, but we had to sit here and win Dragon Ball Z figures for the past two days. Yeah. Yeah, for the last two days, guys, we were here winning, like, Bulmas and Trunks and Gokus just right out of the crane machines. We won so many. But if you checked out our Instagram stories and followed us, then you guys would have known. So this is it, guys. The car we're using for the next maybe two, three, or four, or maybe even five days. We're just here as long as our Kaido is keep giving us entertainment, and it's great. We keep staying here. We have no time limit. And this guy, this is uh, Harmon. What's up, guys? What's your YouTube channel, man? It's Harmon Vlogs. Check me out, guys. There you go. That's the guy that saved our life. So we're about to go bang out some abandon out here. They're not. This Dude. Is, this is like, we're smashing it in right now. Just we, trying to get we, out. We really are, though. There's oh. no split uh, space for any of us. I'm in just this little corner. This is like the United States road trip two years ago. Seriously. These Japanese cars have like no power in them. We're going up this hill at like 40 kilometers, but you can just feel how like slow it is. But we're almost there. After two days of just winning Dragon Ball Z action figures, we're finally doing a bandit. Explorers, we found it. We found it. This is uh, the advertisement for the old theme park. Look how faded it out it is. I guess, it, I wonder if this roller coaster is still here. Wow, there it is. Look at that. We hit the jackpot. The mascot? The mascot? Yeah, what is that? It's like a teddy bear. Yeah. A teddy bear carnival. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Oh, the fog's hitting hard. Okay, yeah, dude, it's blocked off. There. Okay. So, we gotta find a place to park. Yeah, we're, should I go back uh, park? I, I would. We could. <laughs> we could park. You wanna just do that right here? Talk about Silent Hill vibes. So first off, you wouldn't think there's an abandoned theme park on this road. No, no, not, not, not at all. It looks like we're just going through the jungle. Dan, you watching out for the spiders? No, I'm watching out for boars. Oh, yeah, boar. There's a jungle course right here you can walk through. I mean, we don't have the harness, so we're not going over there. Cool, yeah. This forest though. That's sick, isn't it? Yeah. So. The place we're going to is an amusement park that was once owned by the Hotel Resort. Opened in 1965 and closed in 2004. And that's literally all we can translate and all we know on this place. Also, a good thing to point out, at least this might not be the case, but there's a lot of abandoned amusement parks all across Japan. They all just just tend to get, to get dull and fade away. The problem is that when they make uh, amusement parks here in Japan, they never keep it updated. So people are always just moving on to the next thing. And I think that's what could have probably happened here is just no money left or just less business and no one wanted to come here no more. All right, explorers, we're coming up to this. It looks like maybe a go-kart track or something. I mean, 2004, God knows what the amusement parks looked like, especially in Japan. We just spotted the roller coaster from the advertisement sign. Dude, that looks so good. It is good. Yeah, man. Dude, it's crazy because the fog's taking in. It's like Silent Hill. And I got my drone as long as it doesn't rain on us because we don't have no umbrellas or nothing. Oh, this is so awesome. There's rides everywhere though, rides even above there on the, on the hills. Oh my God. What was that? Sounded like a closed door. Maybe down there though. Oh, no. My God. At the roller coaster. This is beautiful stuff though. Everything's all rusted out, corroded. Jeez. What is this ride? Maybe like an old school scrambler or something. But it looked like it would spin on this. Around that. 
Now just think, a place that was once so happy, full of kids always coming through and families coming and take their kids here, just having a great time, now dead, abandoned, and forgotten about. But with the amazing fog rolling in, we can't stop that. Guys, this is what we do. We go to abandoned places, we travel the whole world, and we just discover and uncover the most coolest things around. And that's what we do on the Exploring with Josh channel. We keep it real 100%. If by some chance a ghost does ever happen, we will capture it with the most authentic footage ever. We'll keep it rolling. Okay, so this ride's a scrambler right here, I think. But then check this out, the ultimate. It's like a, it's a pirate ship. It's a freaking pirate ship. Look at the details on it. We gotta go up into the pirate ship. Just gonna find a way up first. Oh, sailing to get to Davy Jones' locker. How do you get up here? It's like sealed, you can't. But, oh, okay, this is actually really cool though. Let me get up here for a better view. Okay. So look what they did here. Every ride is like a pirate ship that just went in circles. It was all pirate themed. You know, kind of like a cheap pirate, you know, kind of like a cheap carnival ride, but a little bit better, higher quality. But look, you can see my boy right there. I'm gonna call him Andy. This looks like a huge Ferris wheel that just laid out flat. But I've been on a ride similar to like this. What is, I, I, I just can't remember. I just remember, it feels like you're going upside down. It starts like turning up. Uh, I don't know. But all I know is I've done that before. And comment down below if, if you've been on that ride too. What is this spot too? So many old rides I just can't even make out. Oh my God, this is so old school. It just looks like a cage with no theme. But this is the one that just spins so tight round in circles and you're standing up in it. And the G-force the G keeps you from moving so you're just stuck in it. And it was on Stranger Things 3, just saying. Oh, oh man. This is it. You guys know, if those who've been watching me for a while knows, my favorite abandoned spots are theme parks, but the mare ground will always be number one because of just the, I don't know, the vibes of a mare ground is just insane, but this one, look how it's like set with, like it's draping down its curtains and the wind just flowing through it. This is it. This is it, Dan. Whoa, whoa, what was that? What ran? Boar? No, it wasn't, it wasn't big enough to be a boar. Oh. Whatever. Whatever then. Is that a go-kart over there? Just chilling. Uh, let's go. The Turbo Panasonic. Dude, no way. The Turbo Panasonic. That name is just epic. The GT Wing. Does it, does it move? Marlboro cigarette. Dude, it, it still moves. Jump in it and I'll push you. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I don't turn no more, but we could, uh. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Turbo booster! Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, it is all jam packed. You got the, yeah, you got the train. <laughs> this is so cool. That's one of those mini games where you gotta hit it with the hammer and it shoots up. I guess you gotta blow the frog up. So quiet. Fog's now rolling out. Again, that may go around. Now this little section with the green metal pipes looks like it has something to do with like a, a game. Maybe like you had to hit like the football into the hole or Maybe it was even like a, a golf, little golf course hit. I don't, I don't know. Circuit 2000, what is this? Did you like actually control a, a cart? Was it just completely for kids and it's like a little, very little kitty ride? Dude, it's a rocket ship. <laughs> they even made the waiting area a rocket ship theme. It's covered though. This is cool. It's covered by the forest. 
Oh, yeah, the, the, the British UK? Yeah. I feel like I'm back at home. <laughs> so they are trying to protect and preserve some of the stuff here. Well, I mean, what, 15 years down the line and it's still abandoned and untouched? Way down there, there's a Ferris wheel. Oh, I didn't see that. We have to make it a goal to get through there. Bro, I think I'm, we just cleared this whole area for the most part. I'm super worried about going in the forest though. So yeah, the boys and... The boys, the boys are a big danger here in Japan. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe there's like a path I'll take the us through. The birds don't bother me because we can make noise and drive them away, but the boars will just literally attack you. And they can eat you. They're that big. Yeah. They, caught, they caught a boar that was 280 pounds. Bro, that's True. a big boar. That's like bigger than you, bro. Bro, that's a big boar. Yeah. I couldn't even, I couldn't wrestle that thing. Guys, Dan pointed this out. I didn't even notice this. This is the uh, roller coaster tracks, and that's the cart, and it's wrapped up perfectly, but you got the whole entire like leaves and nature just taking it over. Walking back down the section we just did really quick. I'm just making sure I got everything which is the best part about exploring It's like just exploring because you don't have really have maps And if you do it's like Google satellites and you get to really just embrace yourself with this and go through it and explore it But this is cool. This is like the tourist center right here. Just asking where things are maybe buying tickets to go on each ride Let's see what the sign says You can see how it's really faded out I mean, I can't read any of this Oh. oh, see, this is why we do this. This is the map. I don't know if you guys can see this. This used, there was some dinosaur stuff right here. We're, we're like around here, see? We're like literally right here. So I think, oh, that's the, that's the rocket ship uh, swing set. So what we'll do is we'll take the path and we'll come through here. This was like a little zoo they had. But then more rides are here. There's a train and that's the Ferris wheel we've seen. So we're not missing too much. It's this section and this section. I did not even notice this, but inside it's like a mini decker, like a double decker merry-go-round, but inside I've never seen one like this. It's like for maybe children or it could be just for design and look cool. Guys, first time I've seen this, I actually think this is actual real horse here or something. I wanted to check up here. Ah, I wish this thing was lit up. Such an awesome thing to see. Somehow we have to find our way to that uh, roller coaster. And we're going through what appears to be a go kart track. That's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's yeah, it's a go kart track. Yeah. See, it goes red or green. You just bounce and go. Oh. Yeah, this is the guy, the commander. Hey, see, got that Mario Kart kind of art right there. I'm gonna miss this area. But now we're approaching, again, unknown territory. Don't know what that sign says, but we're taking this path because that's what it showed on like the brochure map we've seen, was to go this way. Dude. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh. No, that scared me too, dude. It's a freaking ape oh guarding the road. Look, I, I, I joked around about a Japanese Yeti with these two, and then I <laughs> see this. I thought yeah. you were gonna be joking, awesome. but that was a legit, like, oh my God. Yo, this is cool. <laughs> Yo, this guy is huge. Look at it. Imagine getting punched by him. Oh man. Oh my god. King Kong. Yeah. But yeah. He don't look happy. That's for sure. Let me see. Yo, he looks like some of the apes on the ice cream in 7-Eleven. I'm still filming this ape. I don't know. I just can't get over this guy. Over here. No clue what this was, but it was something. It was something. Guys, I'm gonna give you a perspective on how big he is. Oh, dude, it's just hollow, pla like a plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so we just spent 20 minutes taking some really cool shots. They're gonna be on Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, it's Exploring with Josh. Link is in the description down below. Again, Dad, go hard. Oh. Wait, what? Huh? Do the theme song. No, I just, I just had this. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> yes. Welcome to my kingdom. <laughs> dude, they, they kind of had these little ghetto gates to make it look like the Jurassic yeah. Park gates. 
Dude, I've never in my life actually seen like a whole abandoned like dinosaur park. Yeah. This is just one in Ohio and I, I still never done it. So this is all so, new for me. Hey, it's a good one for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Guys, we're going through these dinosaurs and we don't want them to know who we are. the size of those ones. What? Oh, oh my oh, God. Holy crap. Dude, it's a long neck back there. It's huge. <laughs> yo, yo, these things are crazy. Look at the dinosaur park, dude. This is so sick. I don't even know what to do. Look at that guy. He's, oh man, they're all freaky down there. He is massive. We should definitely go on his back. It's a slide. The long neck's a slide. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, this is all this was just a whole playground for like the kids. To hang out with the little uh, train going around it in a circle. <laughs> oh look at that. Nasty spider on there. <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. I love this theme park so much. Not as much as Narjean Land though. Don't get me wrong, this is awesome though. Yes. It's like we can just sit on these, man. They're so nice. Although they're being protected, making sure they don't collapse. But that back there, guys, the T-Rex. Now, Dan says this guy is from a TV show, except I don't know which one. But it might be, and if it is, comment down below. We want to know if this is from a TV show or not. You remember also, that TV, show? that TV show had like a lumberjack jacket on. You remember it? I don't know, but guys, I found a huge snail. Hang on, where is he? Dude, that is a massive snail. So we do still have <laughs> some signs of life in this Jurassic Park. <laughs> this is a long video. Most YouTubers would probably split this into two parts. But you know what? We keep it real all day. We're going to mash it all into one epic documentary video. The Explorers. Within the Explorers. But dude, no joke. What the heck, man? And there's a lot more dinosaurs than just these guys. It goes all the way over here. Look at this. All over here. To another big one right here. <laughs> so awesome. He's so big, my camera can't even pick him up in one shot. put a, like a lot of people and they'll be like yeah I got spots I'm just like yeah okay they just want to hang out and yeah. stuff so dinosaur left side if we finish the whole area we move on to the right approaching the last bit here the last section guys that is a massive ferris wheel but as we're coming up here you just see the valley opening up the mountains all around us the low clouds And here we are at the ski lift, top of the mountain. Imagine skiing down here, but you're also not skiing down here as well, but you're on your roller coasters and your rides up here. Huh. It's pretty far down. This I find really interesting. This is the adults uh, go-karting. It's called skid racing. Seeing the welcome sign right here. Welcome guys to the main event. The Ferris wheel, I guess the idea is you get up to the top and you can just look all over the valleys and the mountains here. Jeez, they give you a whole entrance and everything to this bad boy. <sighs> this was the train that brought you all around. The actual, you know, adult version train. Wow, guys, when you're up this high, you see everything. Maybe even all of Hokkaido, I don't know. But you see all of Sapporo. I like the like light clouded blue they used for this. And over here, it's, I think that's Dumbo. I don't know, it's some character, I don't, let me get up there more. Whatever was right here, the carts are now missing on it. This, oh, hmm. Looks like it like spun upside down or something. No, I know those did. 
I think we just covered the whole entire theme park. Let's get up here. This is the last ride. Really, really excited and I was really happy about the whole dinosaur issue over there. That was cool. And even the whole King Kong guy. But everything here made this theme park perfect. What is this? What is this? Dumbo? Bro, it's even better. Who? Dumbo. Dan <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> For copyright reasons, exactly why Nara Dreamland went through what it did is because of those laws. So we have Dambo, which looks like Dumbo. All right, explorers, you've seen the theme park. I was actually really surprised on this. I didn't expect everything to be so pristine, although we are in Japan, so everything's gonna be pretty much untouched anyway. But theme park-wise, that's always a rare thing. We, I thought, remember, if you remember two years ago, I said I just did the last abandoned theme park. Had no idea that in Hokkaido in the north, there was this one here that kinda can go close to close with Nara, but Nara's still being like this high up here. Dreamland, it's always gonna be number one abandoned theme park, probably in the world for me at least just because of the vibes there. But we've seen it all and give a huge shout out to Harmon. Uh, his link's in the description down below. Uh, we got Exploring with Fighters here also. We're here and we're just vibing out at this spot. It is such an amazing spot. And it actually feels good to end the video like I used to back in the day. If you guys remember, I used to set the tripod down, end the video just like this, and sometimes tell a story. But I think you've seen enough here. And yeah, we gotta get back to the car and we're gonna keep doing some more spots. So tune into the next video. Rise above, just get out there and explore. Peace and thanks for watching.